Hi, you're welcome to Financial Freedom Hub. My name is John Kennedy. Um, you're welcome to our new series on cryptocurrency investment. And I want to show you in this video how you can hedge your cryptocurrency or crypto assets in your portfolio in the midst of bear markets. Right now, you can see that a lot of crypto assets are dropping in price and dropping in value. That is one thing about the crypto market or the crypto industry, the volatility. And so sometimes your assets can drop drastically when it is a bear market. And then when there is a bubble, it can also shoot up when it is the bulls market. So in this video, I want to show you how to hedge your funds or your assets. In finance, when we talk of hedging your investment, what we are talking about is how to protect yourself against loss financial loss in your investment because once you invest and the price begins to drop you can't do anything about the price because you don't have control over it but what measures can you put in place and what steps can you take to make sure you protect yourself against loss let's say the price keeps on going down now we are going to look at the coin market capitalization and we are going to look at the the prices and the cryptos that starting with bitcoin which is the king of cryptocurrency bitcoin has been struggling to climb back to forty forty thousand dollars it hasn't been able to go back for the past seven days the market has been on the pairs coming down drastically and you can see from the pictures here we could look at the 24 hour percentage change in the price of each of the assets and then you see the seven days percentage change in the price so beginning from the King of Bit uh, crypto, which is Bitcoin, you can see that in the past 24 hours, it has depreciated or dropped in price by 1.23%. So you can see it is changing on the hour. So this is the current price of Bitcoin followed by Ethereum. And the past seven days, it has lost 4.91%, almost 5% in seven days. Look at Ethereum has lost 11%. That's significant and now so when we look at the top 100 coins now look at the chart here you look at the graph chart here you can see that's the last seven days performance you see that all of them are on the decline and they are all in the red so you see everyone you see in the red means they are all losing so you see if they all of them are in red but you can see that there are some that are in green i'll come back and talk to you because that is the subject of this video so you can see that almost all the coins or the assets and tokens in the crypto market so these are the top performing coins that's the top 100 coins on the coin market capitalization a few of them are in green but we are going to see why some of them are in green and some of them are in red and then we'll look at how to protect yourself and so in order for you to be able to monitor your assets you need to create a portfolio i'll do another video and show you how to create a crypto asset portfolio a portfolio basically is a place where you have all your assets you are holding irrespective of where they are whichever wallet they are in or whichever exchanger they are on you can create a portfolio so that you can be monitoring all your assets so when you come to coin market capitalization you can go to portfolio here click on portfolio and then it will bring down if you already have a, a portfolio it will bring it down if you don't have then you create one for free this place is free we don't need to sign up or to log in but if you want to create a portfolio and have access to some of the free things you need to register for free and then you can create a portfolio so this is an example of a portfolio so you can see that these are the coins or the assets you have there so you have these tokens you have this you have this and you have this and then the quantity the price of each of them currently and then the quantities you are holding for each of them the price at which you bought each of them and then you can be monitoring daily and then the profit or the loss position of each of them so you have the total amount here so you can be monitoring so that makes the portfolio very interesting and helpful later on i'll do a comprehensive video and then i'll take you through 
but that helps you to monitor the price the performance of your coins and that leads us to why we are here the hedging or the protecting of your funds so how do you protect your funds now there are different kinds of assets on the crypto space we have the coins and then we have the tokens and then we have the cryptocurrencies and then we have stable coins there are some of the coins that are called stable coins because they don't fluctuate like the other coins or other tokens on the crypto space that is why they are called stable coins it is because they are pegged to the us dollar so the volatility that characterizes the crypto market does not affect them so much so when you look at those coins you see that always their price is just one dollar a little below or a little above it's just one percent two percent above or below they don't fluctuate like that so the first one is the theta or what we call the usdt when you look at the price you can see that it's one dollar so you can see the graph that it is almost a straight horizontal line and it is in green whilst others are taking a path from the bear market and when you come down again you see another stable coin usd coin you see that it is also one dollar and you see that it is green and the line is almost horizontal and then you see another one the binance usd that is also one dollar and then you can see the graph is straight and then it is also in green and then you can see when you come down again you can see another one here the die it is also one dollar and then you can see that the graph is almost a horizontal line so there are coins like that that later the crypto market they are called stable coin i think the most creditable one is the usdt or the most popular one oh that's one is the usdt and so what you do is when you create your portfolio you make sure you have the theta as part of your portfolio or the stable coins you can have different ones depending on your taste and your preference and your choice and then the market you are operating in so you can have this coin like this and so any time the prices of the other tokens that are subject to high volatility the price begins to go down drastically what you have to do is convert all those coins into a stable coin if you don't want to sell there are people who sell when price begins to go down but it's not always advisable to sell when they are going down so you convert all your assets to a stable coin where it will be stable probability is fluctuation will not be more than two percent in any market situation so you can convert all your assets to any of the stable coins and still hold it in a stable coin either in your wallet or on an exchanger depending on trustworthiness of the exchanger and then when the prices the market stabilizes and then the prices begin to move up or about to move up then you convert back to those original assets you are holding and then you can even get more value more assets at the current price because if the prices drop for instance look at this portfolio this example of a portfolio you can see that in the past seven days this asset has dropped by 12 percent so that is the price difference so you have lost 23 dollars out of this price look at it this was the purchase price at the time the portfolio was compound composed and the price today right now at the time of this video is six six three seven three here is seven six three so drastic loss twenty three dollars twelve percent and when you come down here you see that this asset was purchased at 1.57 right now it is at 1.43 it has lost eight dollars that's about eight point five seven dollars and then you can see that this one the time it was purchased it was four one two zero 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 point zero 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 four one two right now zero zero point two seven zero three about thirty four percent lost in value but you can see that this one is one dollar and then it has lost nothing what it has lost is insignificant percentage wise it's not up to even 0.01 percentage so the wisdom here is you can decide to convert all these assets if they are not on any fixed investment program and they are just free assets you are holding for price to go up and then you sell at a higher price you can easily convert them to this stable coin and then once the price stabilizes and it's about to start moving up again 
then you convert them back that will help you even get more of the tokens and then once the price shoots up you can make your profit and sell at any time or if you want to hold for a long time then you can keep hedging them as the price goes up and comes down and then you can maintain your the value of your assets in your portfolio and then you will not suffer many high loss in times of uh, bear markets or high volatility where the prices come down drastically so that is that basically how to hedge your funds in your portfolio so that you don't suffer loss cryptocurrency space is characterized by volatility and it's the volatility that brings the profitability the higher the risk the higher the returns the only thing is if it turns against you then you suffer loss but if it is in your favor then you make huge profit because under volatility can be huge that people can make 300 percent 500 percent even thousand percentage in 24 hours that is the 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 character of cryptocurrencies but if you want to hedge and you want to protect your investment then you can convert your assets into stable coins and hold them until the price stabilizes and begins to go up and then you convert them back to your various assets you are holding and then you can be in profit always so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video where i'll take my time and then i'll do a comprehensive video on how to build a crypto asset and then you can make some money out of it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you.